it's gonna be a difficult, difficult proposition, you know. A big game, they're top of the table as well. But we held them to a draw and we could have beaten them at the city ground, to be honest. Anfield is a different story. But we won here last season. Let's see if we can win again. We have just entered the January transfer window. Of course, that means that the players with contracts running down the season can now leave for free, start talking to other teams and agree pre-contracts for the next season. One of these players is our current captain, Musa Niakate, and we do not plan on losing the Senegalese international by any chance. Yeah, so we're going to try to prevent that situation from materializing by offering him a new contract. Funny enough, our club captain as well, Ryan Yates, who is still out injured at the moment, also is in a similar situation. So we're going to tie these two dons down and make sure that they do not leave for free. Welcome back, Nottingham Forest FC 24 career mode. If you're going to enjoy this video, please do drop a like on it and subscribe. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate that. A big episode coming up today. Of course, we already signed Matteo Guendouzi on a free transfer, which still does doesn't make much sense to me because he should be joining next season but like now nah, the boy just couldn't wait and he is here he has arrived he arrived at the end of the last episode as the window opens so we'll be looking forward to implementing him into the team and seeing what he can give us Nyakate is officially signed up making sure that he's not going anywhere and Ryan Yates is next on the agenda but we have big games coming up you want to kick things off against brighton and hove albion we're exactly halfway through the season and comparing where we are now to last season we're slightly behind on the points tally in the premier league which is a bit disappointing you know we sit in eighth place at the moment not great but if we do beat brighton we go up to sixth place you know so we're still not too far away from the top six and not even really that far away from the top four which is good we have Brighton then we have Liverpool our last game was against Liverpool and the game after Brighton is against Liverpool we will then round things off with the FA Cup game against Hull City so Brighton and Hove Albion the Seagulls who are in awful form four losses and a draw in their last five games I don't know what's going on over there they're also very low down in the table and uh, yeah, not great scenes at the Amex and we are going to the Amex Stadium with this team. We have just lost Morgan Gibbs, White and Per Shores for the next three months in the last game. So they're not going to be available, which means we really have to rely on the very few players that we have left remaining. But we're making no excuses. Matteo Guendouzi is also on the bench. So not chucked straight into the starting 11, giving him you know, a steady introduction into the team. Probably he's had like one or two training sessions with us. So he hasn't been here that long, but he is involved in the match day squad at least. Brighton moving the ball about here, but we break that move down. Here's Dominic Calvert-Lewin linking up with Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho is suddenly going to take up a lot of responsibility in terms of the creation of chances, because to those who don't know, Walking Gibbs actually has the most assists in the Premier League. But now he's off for the next three months. So Sancho really has to take up that responsibility and be that creative force going forward and really develop a relationship with DCL up top. Let's see if he'll be able to do that here today. But here come Brighton. Good slide and tackle there. Calvert-Lewin holds the ball up well. And plays it to Mangala, but Mangala is tackled. He goes down and stays down, which is not something we need right now. With all the injuries we have, another injury is the last thing we need, to be honest. Here are Brighton still attacking through Adam Hozek, and there is the first real chance of the game. And there is another injury for Nottingham Forest. Looks like Oral Mangala is not going to be able to continue here. He's holding his knee, which is never a good sign. 
and he will have to come off. Well, I guess Matteo Guendouzi has to be involved now. Listen, we signed him with the thought of moving Ibrahim Sangara to be more of a box-to-box -box midfielder from a number six to a number eight in order for us to have that playmaking, deep-lying player and that's going to be Matteo Guendouzi listen my bro you just have to be there and control the game hopefully he'll be able to control the possession to dictate the play and hopefully Sangare can look deep within himself and unlock that box to box McFielder pack yeah we need that Yaya Torre pack to be unlocked bro that's what we need right now in a bit of an unfortunate situation and in a game where we are very much under pressure we need somebody who can potentially change something for us <sighs> It's been all Brighton so far. The Seagulls looking to beat us for a second consecutive year at the Amex. Angelino, he tried to win that ball, man, but nothing's really working for us so far in this game. Hopefully that substitution of Guendouzi will allow us to get our foot more on the ball. Because even now, it's basically attack versus defense. Win that, win that, well in. Dominguez, Sancho, look at that, very aggressive. And Brighton win it back, but Angelino gets stuck in again back to Valcardemos. Valcardemos under pressure, but deals with it. Omba Medelli. Is Ibrahim Asangare. Oh, fantastic pass into the path of Nicolas Dominguez. And Dominguez is suddenly in! And he will give us a lead just before the break. Our first attack of the game! Sangare involved! We told you! Unlock the pack, bro! Defense splitting pass. Plays in Nicolas Dominguez. And it's undeserved. It's been all Brighton, bro. And the one time we're able to play through the press. The one time we're able to get into the final third. We took our chance and we lead at the Amex Stadium. Wow. Unexpected, but hey, we'll take that and uh, let's build on that in the second half. Hopefully, like I said, with Gunduzi now on the field, we'll be able to have more of the ball. And just relieve some pressure off of our defenders because they've been working over time today. Still going to be a tough game though. Oh, there's Gunduzi winning the ball back and gives it immediately to Dominguez. Lindelof to Omaba Medelli. Down the line to Ibrahim Sangare, who has tackled. We have a throw in. Taken by Montiel. Here's Sangare. Sangare now with more license to get forward, looking to be clinical in his attacking. Oh, prowess as well, and he is, and what a clinical finish! That is! From Dominic Calvert-Lewin! Bro, the finishes this guy is pulling off right now, yeah? Are actually unstoppable. Sangare again, driving forward, powerful running from the midfield. DCL, one touch on the turn, hits it on the left foot, in off the post. 2-0, Nottingham Forest. We needed that. We needed that, just that bit of security. And to be fair, we are still holding strong. Not, not anymore, not anymore, not anymore. We were holding strong. It's now 2-1. Joe Pedro makes it 2-1 and Brighton are back in the game. We didn't really need that to be fair, you know? But yeah, it's just been a case of being attacked and attacked and attacked the whole game. I mean. It was inevitable in a sense, but hey, we are still leading, so that's a positive. Jaden Sancho, good pass in there towards DCL, another turn and shot. Bro, every time he shoots, I feel like something's gonna happen. He's in fantastic form right now. Unfortunately, he's the only striker we have. So he has to stay on the field, he just has to. And of course, he's always a threat from these situations. Poor DCL, not quite winning it there. Still alive! Saved. We'll try to press. Come on, win that. Good tackle, good tackle. A change 
is needed. Sancho getting tired. We're bringing on Callum Hudson-Odoi in the attacking midfield role. Lacardimus plays it out to Omoba Medelli. Here's Sangare. Oh, fantastic play again from Sangare. Getting us up the field, just driving us up there. But he lost it in the end. And he is adapting well to this new role. You know, we always knew that this guy had more about him. We just didn't have a guy at the back to solidify things. Of course, he's still a better defender all out and out than Gunduzi, but Gunduzi allows us to be better going forward. But as a team, we've just been poor here today, to be fair. But the result is still in the bag. Croston headed away by Sangara, still coming back to help out the defense. Collected here, good block by Montiel. But still, Brighton push on. Dahoud in the middle, turn there from Adam Klozak and a save by Odysseus Vlakodemos. The five minutes left on the clock. Joao Pedro is taking off for Danny Welbeck. As Brighton look for the equalizing goal. And as we look to repel the Brighton attacks, a good punch by Vlakodemos and a good header away. Still Brighton attack, still Nottingham Forest defend, and the shot is wide. Is that it? Is that it? Are we over the line? <laughs> still a few minutes left. But we may just about make it, boys. Going long, DCL wins the header, but nobody around him to win the second ball. Disappointing stuff. But you know, even if they have the ball in these areas, I'm not worried. Just not in a position where they can hurt us. Keeping a good shape for now. Only three minutes added on here. But Brighton on the attack. A good block by Nyakate. Headed away. Guendouzi fed it headed away and collected by Nicolas Dominguez. Dominguez just running forward and just getting the ball out of the danger area. Listen, we may have done enough. We may have just about done enough. He'll still go himself and actually force a save out of the goalkeeper. DCL with a follow-up. He was offside, but there's full time. Three points for Nottingham Forest, and we go into sixth place in the Premier League table. Do we deserve the win? I'll leave that up to you to decide. But we do have the win. We beat Brighton. Oral Mangala is out with a dislocated shoulder for the next two months. Bro, we are having some freak injuries, you know? Some genuine freak injuries here. Another player is out in Mangala and we face Liverpool. We just faced them two games ago. We drew nil-nil at the City Ground, but this time we go to Anfield. And last time at Anfield, we stole a victory at the death. The ref has not blown and Anthony Alanga standing behind. And Anthony Alanga will score in the 94th minute. The boos, the boos are very audible. It's understandable. We have stolen it. So let's hope we'll be able to do the same here today. Our lineup, Vlakarimos, Nyakate, Lindelof, and Omar Bamedeli. We have Gunduzi, Dominguez, and Sangare, Angelino, Montiel, Callum, Hudson-Odoi, and Dominic Calvert-Lewin. So Hudson-Odoi starts ahead of Sancho. Sancho feeling a bit tired. DCL is on his last legs, but he just has to start because, bro, we don't have another striker, okay? And Matteo Gunduzi makes his full debut, his first start for Nottingham Forest at Anfield, which... It's going to be a difficult, difficult proposition, you know. A big game. They're top of the table as well. But we held them to a draw and we could have beaten them at the city ground, to be honest. Anfield is a different story. But we won here last season. Let's see if we can win again. And let's see if we can go out there and impose ourselves with the change in tactical setup, you know, with Sangare starting in a central midfield role for the first time. Guendouzi starting for the first time overall. Can we go to Anfield, get our foot on the ball, dominate possession, and really take it to them? I don't know. Very few, if any, teams can do that. A good pass here to Montiel. He couldn't control the ball. But it's a foul to Liverpool. Again, I mentioned how these two teams are very similar stylistically. 
and the games are always tight. We beat them 1-0 last season here. They beat us 1-0 last season at our ground. We drew 0-0 this season, so I'm not expecting many goals. However, I am expecting an intense game and a very difficult one all in all. Here's a mobile Mateli. To Hudson Odoi, Hudson Odoi to Sangare. A good start from us. You're moving the ball around well. Sangare driving forward. Oh my goodness, this is some good stuff, lads. Yeah, Montiel out on the right hand side, defended by Konate. There's Allison. We try to press Liverpool. But they are seemingly comfortable in a possession. But we do eventually win the ball back. A good start to the game. Here's Angelino. Angelino in a wide area. Anybody in the box? Well, he takes the shot on himself, forces the save out of Alison Becker. We have a corner. Will be Angelino with the delivery. Outswing a left-footed cross. Although it's an outswinger, Alison was still brave enough to come out and claim the cross. Early stages of the game. It's all Nottingham Forest. I can't help but feel like we've caught Liverpool a bit off guard here. Angelino has stayed down. Oh my goodness, please don't tell me there's another injury. Crossed in. There is Ganduzi. Good defensive cover from him. Good composure as well. To find Amabamadeli. Hudson Odoi. Back to Ganduzi. That's what Ganduzi gives us. The ability to pull out from the back. And now we advance forward. Hudson Odoi in the end is tackled. But I'm really liking our build-up play. It has significantly improved. Gunduzi involved once again. Now to Montiel. Calvert Lewin. There to Gonzalo Montiel. Crossed in. Is he on side? No, he is not. But we're playing very well, boys. 30 minutes into the game. Liverpool haven't done anything. We have definitely been the better team. Well, here they come in the box. They can change it very quickly, okay? <laughs> they have that in their locker. To just attack once and absolutely hurt you. But we survive for now. Taking short. Crossing by Luis Diaz, headed away by Lindelof, collected on the edge of the box by Huebier. Get a foot in there, Calvert-Lewin. Trying to also get stuck in and really help out the other defenders. Here's Ben Doak. Trying to go out wide. Liverpool now with the momentum, they have definitely regained the control of this game. Flated to Calabria, crossed in there, and nobody's marking the man in the middle! Nobody! That's too simple, it's just one cross into the box! There's like four defenders not picking up the guy! Look at him! Look at the amount of space he has in the box. Oh, come on, boys, man. Angelino's also injured. Oh, my goodness. We don't have another left-footed wing-back. We don't. We'll have to bring on Nico Williams for Angelino. That's a big, big blow because now we don't really have a designated corner or free kick taker when Angelino's off the field. But we push on for now. Here is Nico Williams. Can he... Make something for us. Williams in the center! And there's Dominic! 1-1 one, one before the break. It's what we deserve! It's what we deserve! We've dominated this game for about half an hour. They had a spell of about five minutes. They got the goal. Slightly fortunate. It goes through the legs of Allison. They're not the best finish from DCL, but the power... Just takes it through the Brazilian's legs. And he makes it 1-1. Just before the break here at Anfield. Halftime whistle goes. 1-1. I'm happy. I'm happy with how we've played. One moment of switching off allowed Liverpool to score. But we've been the better team. I genuinely believe we've been the better team. We're bossing the game. We're controlling possession. One of the best performances we've actually put in this season, to be fair. So, it's about doing the same in the second half and just not giving them 
any chances. Let's make them earn their chances across towards the back post here. And we're there, we're there, we're alert this time. Good work from Nico Williams, a corner to be taken here. Looks like they're going to take it short. They will. Towards Luis Diaz. Diaz crosses in, headed away-ish, and tackled. Well done, Hudson Odoi. Here he is again, Kalam Hudson Odoi. Please pass it towards Ibrahima Sangare. Sangare looking to get us forward once again. Checks back and finds Hudson Odoi. Hudson Odoi in space, takes the shot on! Saved by Allison. Collected by Nico Williams, and it's still defended in the end. Into the second half, and boys, we're still pushing. We're still pushing. Substitution for Liverpool taking off Ben Doak for Gabriel Martinelli. Oh, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Oh, boy. It's about to get intense up in here, then. <laughs> it's Guendouzi. Oh, good pass. Good pass out there. Collected by Montiel. Just keeping the ball. Keeping the ball. Moving it around. Very patient. Oh, Lindelof. Lindelof. Poor pass. Mistake. And he's gone. He's gone. He's at Gagpo. He's actually gone. He's gone. He's through. He's one and one. And he scores. Ah, boys. We talked. We talked. We talked. We spoke about this. Don't give them anything. Oh, look at Lindelof running back. Oh, my goodness. Just gifted them the goal there. Dominic is finished, boys. He's actually finished. He has to come off. We'll bring on Sancho. I don't know what we're going to do with Sancho and Hudson Odoi up there. We'll just have to try something, to be honest. Alanga will also have to come on now because we are losing. And it's so disappointing. That goal comes from us being very... Ooh, saved. From us being very calm. From us being in control of the game. They didn't even press us. Listen, we have nine minutes to try to rescue this. Nine minutes to try to rescue this game. Cross in. I mean, the first connection is Lindelof and we're falling over each other's legs. Falling over each other. Well done, Gunduzi. Looks to get us up the field. Here's Alanga. Alanga's pass is intercepted. And Liverpool now making it very difficult for us to get the ball back. And Dominic Silva will slide just in here behind. Back to Luis Diaz. Blocked. Corner maybe to Liverpool. Just praying on one counter-attack right now. That's all we have. Praying on a counter-attack, bro. We're going to bring on Santos. Going to bring him on for Sangare. Just another fresh attack-minded midfielder in there. Final five minutes. Listen, they have a corner. It could be a good thing. If we defend it and we counter, hey, you know, we could do something. But then, well, what was that? I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Let's just get forward. Lindelof. Pass to a guy in a similar shirt, please. Nakate. Urgency, boys. Urgency time is ticking. Sancho. Jaden Sancho. Sancho to Santos. Santos on the ball in the final third towards Anthony Alanga. Alanga away. Alanga in the box. Alanga back and it's intercepted and cleared. Collected. Niakate. We keep going. Dominguez to Sancho. Sancho is tackled by Javier there. Press is on. Ooh, just play through it. Win it. We will do win it. Hudson Odoi. Oh my goodness. It's just the final action. It's not just there. The final pass, the final dribble, the final shot. It's just not happening for us. It's a throw into Liverpool. There's like 30 seconds left on the clock. The fans are calling for the whistle. Liverpool in possession. They just go up the field and lads, we're going to lose here at Anfield. Crossed in, it's headed away by Niakate. And it's full time. It's a loss at Anfield against Liverpool. It's a self-inflicted loss at Anfield against Liverpool. I mean, the first goal was just 
Poor defending, but the second, oh my goodness, what are we doing? And is out, it's not that bad of an injury to be fair, only out for the next game or so, better wins player of the month. And we were already looking at bringing in another left wing back, you know, we already mentioned that Andalini is the only left footed wing back we have at the club. And that's a situation we were planning on fixing in January and with him being injured now, this really highlights the significance of bringing in another wing back. Josh Doig of Hellas Verona, Scottish player, 6 foot 2, high attacking work rate, high defensive work rate. Very, very, very physical player, very quick as well, but also technical. You know, he's not just like some big donkey, bro, and cannot play ball. He can play ball, but he's also not some fraud who can defend. He can also defend, yeah? And he'll bring proper competition for that left wing back position and rotation as well. We've actually been lucky that Angelino hasn't gotten a serious injury this season because if he had, we would have been screwed, you know? So... Going in for Josh Toig, I also believe he's in his final year, so we'll try to strike a deal. The finances, however, are quite tight. You know, very, very tight, lads. We don't have a big budget, so let's see if we can strike a deal. Here, we're going to offer 11 million and a bit of a sell-on clause there. They're interested in Ryan Yates. We're not going to give them our club captain. That's not going to happen, and to be fair, I don't think we have players to give. Most of our players are injured. And we're really lacking for squad depth, so I don't plan on giving out anybody. So how about an 11.5? You know, we also have to save some money for the wages because we have to negotiate a contract with him, right? So let's go 11.2 million, maybe? Okay, they are accepting 11.2, but they also want a sell-on clause. Yeah, we may have to lower down the sell-on clause ever so slightly. 10% sell-on clause, 11.2 million. I mean, his value is 16. So that would be a great deal to get done, and they do accept that. Now the question is, do we have enough money for the wages? And I doubt we do, bro. We only have 23k. That's all the money we have. 23k, no bonuses, nothing else. I doubt he's going to accept that. He's asking for 34. My brother, we don't have the finances. We don't, we don't have these things. You know? You're asking for things I don't have, bro. I can give you my leg. I don't know. Like, what do you want, bro? I don't have these things. Firstly, we cannot give you any kind of bonuses because <laughs> they are none. Um, it's just the 23k, bro. We're giving you everything that we have right now. It's not going to happen, is it? Nah, it's not going to happen. He wants 34k and bonuses. It's not going to happen, lads. I think we should just end the negotiations. And we'll try to sell somebody and come back in for Doik. Hopefully nobody will buy him during that time and hopefully Hellas Verona will still accept the 11.2 million and don't change their mind or anything and we're gonna actually transfer this to Lewis O'Brien he's the player that I've best just been keeping around the squad for squad depth in case of an emergency but right now left wing back has to take priority so we'll add him to the transfer list not really a player I wanted to sell to be honest but listen the needs must we need a bit of cash and yeah, we need that wing back in. We're going to sim the game against Hull City with this team in the FA Cup. I'm actually going to be taking the FA Cup quite seriously because we got knocked out of the Carabao Cup very, very early. I think in the first game of the Carabao Cup, we got knocked out. And yeah, we only have the Europa League coming in February. So hopefully we'll make it through. And we just about do with an 88th minute winner from Callum hudson -Odoi. Okay, that was way too tight, boys. Okay, that sounds sus. But yeah, a 1 0 victory against Hull City gets us through, and there is Lewis O'Brien leaving. It's unfortunate, you know? To be fair, he hasn't really played a game for us this season, but it's just that player was leaving there, you know, in case of emergency, you know, like an injury crisis. We have had injuries, but mostly in our defense and our attack, not really in the midfield. So I guess it's like fortunate. So it's a risk we have to take. We've sold him to Brighton for 7.5 million and surely now we'll have enough money to go and complete the deal for Josh Doig. But we will leave it there for this episode. Our next game is against Newcastle United. We are in seventh place. They are in ninth. And you know, games against Newcastle are always exciting. So I'm very much looking forward to that. We'll also be going through deadline day. We'll try to complete the signing for Josh Doig. It's going to be a big episode. So make sure you don't miss it. As always, send me your comments down below. Drop a like on this video if you haven't enjoyed it. And please do subscribe as well. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate that. I've been Quickie Crusher. I'll see you guys next time.